Welcome back. Today I'm sharing a tutorial on how to make this adorable elephant cake. We're going to start off by using some pink funfetti cake batter and we're making 7 inch, 6 inch, and 4 inch cake layers here to help create our elephant shape. Next we're working on our elephant ears and you want to make these in advance so that they have time to dry. For reference my ears were about 4.5 inches tall and about 2.5 to 3 inches wide. You want them to be pretty big. It's important that they're about a half inch thick as well so that you can insert toothpicks into them to make them easy to add onto your elephant cake down the road. I set these on a wire rack to help them firm up and get airflow on both sides and then I set to work on my elephant cake. I started with my 7 inch cake layer on the bottom and added a thick layer of my buttercream and some sprinkles just for fun. Then I stacked two 6 inch cake layers on top of that, followed by 4 inch cake layers. I also want to note that I'm building my cake on a 10 inch cake drum and it's important that you have extra space around the base because you're going to need to add on your elephant's legs and in order for them to really wrap around the cake properly you need some space to do that. So after stacking my remaining cake layers which was a 6 inch, a 4 inch, and then a little 2 inch that I cut out of a 4 inch cake layer, I am spreading some frosting all around the cake to create a thin crumb coat. While you could see that I trimmed some of my cake layers to start to create the elephant's shape, it still was a bit boxy for me so I ended up taking a serrated knife to my cake once I had crumb coated it to help create a more rounded body for my elephant. While my crumb coat chilled, I worked on my elephant's legs and trunk. I did this by melting 4 cups of mini marshmallows in the microwave and then adding in 4 cups of Rice Krispie cereal. I stirred together until the cereal was fully coated and then I sprayed my hands with some nonstick cooking spray before starting to shape my legs. I used about a fifth of the mixture to make each leg and it's really important that you can pack together the Rice Krispies with your hands as you do this so that they set firmly and keep their shape. I tried to keep my front legs pretty thin just based on the shape of my elephant and after making the hind legs and the trunk I pressed them against the cake to make sure that they were the right size and that they looked right. Once I was happy with them I covered the cake in some grey buttercream which I made just by adding a tablespoon of black cocoa to my existing buttercream. After covering the cake with a small offset spatula with an even layer of that grey buttercream, I set to work smoothing it. This is by far and away the part that took the longest and I used an acetate sheet to really get it nice and smooth. Next I used some of the same pink fondant I used for my ears to create my elephant's little nails and cheeks and I used a bit of black and white fondant to create its eyes and eyebrows. I made some score marks on its trunk to give it a little bit more texture and then I pressed my ears into place which they had firmed up a decent amount so they were easy to handle and press in. Next it was time to pipe some grey buttercream around our ears and as you can see I really took my time doing this. It's pretty hard to get it just right so you want to take your time to get a nice even line. The finishing touch was to add on a little party hat which I had on hand and then it was time to cut into our cake. The full recipe for this elephant cake is up on shellsweets.com and I've included the link in the video description below. Thank you so much for watching, hopefully I'll see you guys again soon.